There's a type of bee that makes honey out of blood from dead carcasses. What is your favorite? Very creepy fact. Anesthesia awareness exists. Being conscious during surgery is an actual experience people have. Your eye has approximately the same proteins as an egg white, and both react similarly to hydrochloric acid, which solidifies the usually liquid substances. Cotard's delusion is a rare psychiatric condition, severe cases of which cause the sufferer to wholeheartedly believe they are dead, putrefying, or simply do not exist. Some Cotard's patients refuse to eat, as they do not believe they need to, with one notable patient dying of starvation. Another woman once asked to be taken to a morgue, to be with the other dead people. Indian followers of the Zoroasterianism don't bury, or burn their dead. Instead they leave the bodies in special towers, exposed to the element, to be eaten by vultures. Unfortunately the vultures are now endangered leaving the bodies to slowly rot. If given access to it, butterflies will happily drink blood. When a person is electrocuted in the electric chair, they feel everything. They are fully aware of their bodies being fried as it happens in real time. One inmate who survived the first round of electrocution said it tasted like cold peanut butter. Scathism, the worst way of execution I've ever heard of. The word comes from Greek which stands for hollowed out. The victim is trapped between two boats, fed and covered with milk and honey, which then attracts all kinds of insects and vermin that fester, and devours you over a couple of days. In 1844, there was a case of hysteria in a French convent of nuns. One started meowing, and after a week all the nuns were meowing harmoniously in the afternoons. It didn't stop, until neighbors called soldiers. The island of Okunoshima in the inland sea of Japan is known for two reputable things. One, it's named Rabbit Island, because of the overabundance of wild rabbits and. Two, the island has World War II ruins of a chemical weapons factory, creating poison like mustard gas in its attacks on China. So vital was its secrecy to the Japanese government, that they tried to wipe its location off maps. There is a rare genetic disease called fatal familial insomnia, where over the course of months you literally cannot go, or be put to sleep, no matter what you take, or what you do. The symptoms get progressively worse until finally you stay awake watching yourself go insane, until you die from exhaustion. After getting stung by a cone snail, you don't feel the sting for a little bit. There is no anti-venom, and it can be lethal. Treatment is basically keeping the victim alive until the venom wears off. Anglerfish. When anglerfish mates, the male literally deforms its body and fuses with the female. Then they live together for the rest of their lives. The fulmar is a bird that defensively spits an orange oily substance at attackers. When the attacker tries to go to wash the oil off its wings, it often drowns because it is no longer buoyant. Also that stomach oil is a nutrient-rich food source, so feel free to make a fulmar spit it in your mouth. There was a man from France named Terra. 1772, 1798, who couldn't stop eating. By the time he was 17, his parents kicked him out. He was eating his own body weight in food daily at the time. When he enlisted in the army, the army rations just couldn't satisfy him. Often, he would sneak out at night and search for offal in the garbage in the gutters. He was hospitalized, doctors trying to find a cure, but, at night he would raid the morgue. Scientists unable to stop his ability to eat almost anything began to study it. They'd feed him such random things as eels, he'd swallow whole, lizards, a kitten and puppies, all of which he ate alive. When a 14-month-old baby disappeared, he was chased from the hospital by an angry mob. He later died of tuberculosis. When your organs are taken out of your body for abdominal surgery, they don't get placed back in carefully or specifically. You just put all the organs back in, and the body sorts itself out. On top of that, 
Some people are born with a condition called situs inversus, in which all their organs are a mirror image of what is normal. Having this automatically disqualifies you from being in the military. Chainsaws were originally invented for childbirth. Feeding a human body to pigs will cause them to eat everything except the teeth. You need at least 16 pigs to finish the job in one sitting, so be wary of any man who keeps a pig farm. They will go through a body that weighs 200 pounds in about 8 minutes. That means that a single pig can consume 2 pounds of uncooked flesh every minute. Hence the expression, as greedy as a pig. Egyptian mummies are significantly more rare than they used to be, because Europeans ate a lot of them. They were looted from Egypt, and used as medicine. Female mummies in ancient Egypt were always more decomposed than their male counterparts. They discovered that this was, because male bodies were embalmed a lot sooner than female bodies. Female bodies were kept at the family home, until they started to decompose, in order to avoid necrophilia at the embalmers. Patients undergoing colonoscopies are most commonly put under conscious sedation, meaning the anesthetic doesn't actually numb pain, or even send you unconscious, they just impair your ability to form memories. You are awake and aware of the pain, you just don't remember. You have a bunch of microscopic parasites called demodex on your eyelashes, and in the pores on your face. They come out at night to lay eggs on, and eat the oils on your face. If you stare at the mirror in the dark long enough, your brain starts to make your eyes see things, usually transforming you, or the room into something horrifying more usually monsters. This is called peripheral fading, or the Traxler effect. Postpartum psychosis can show up in a new mother virtually overnight. It can make them hallucinate, or go into psychosis, making them think their baby is a demon or the antichrist for example. New mothers kill their own children, because of postpartum psychosis more often than you might like to think. The more the mother knows it's a possibility the better she'll be able to combat it if it arrives. Edit. Postpartum depression is also a thing, and is also a serious issue, but does not cause hallucinations and delusions. That is specifically related to postpartum psychosis. Botflies. The very fact that they exist, is more than creepy. See, these little bastards are parasitic, by that I mean they bite an animal or human to inflict, and open wound, and proceed to inject their eggs into the wound. The larvae that hatch feed on the host, while the host is alive, until they mature enough to fly and continue the circle. Oh, and there's usually multiple larvae at a time that leave craters in the host's body. More than 7,000 people die annually due to their doctor's bad handwriting. Kiru is a disease caused by cannibalism and symptoms include tremors, outburst of uncontrollable laughter, and slow loss of coordination till death. Once you start experiencing symptoms of rabies, the death rate is 100%. There is an island of the dolls in Mexico City that has thousands of creepy dolls. To honor a little girl who drowned in the 1950s. The island is also one of the most haunted places. There is a species of flying spiders. The human jaw is strong enough to shatter all the teeth in your mouth. Our muscles are so strong that, if our brains did not subconsciously limit our strength, they would be able to rip themselves off our bones. During World War II, a US airman crashed on an island called Kaikaijima. He was captured by the Japanese, and was taken prisoner, and found himself with a few other airmen who got shot down over the island, and he said, that some were missing limbs, and it had looked, like they were surgically amputated. Later that day there was a party, that was held for the Japanese officers and they were serving meat that they called Kimo, meaning fresh flesh. Turns out the Japanese were killing POWs and cannibalized them. One of the airmen who was shot down escaped, by rowing out to a submarine, that was scouting the area told the crew, that the Japanese on the island were eating people. When they took the island they found some of the bodies stripped clean to the bone. 
Some of the POWs who were still alive had limbs missing as they were cut off, because some of the Japanese had grown fond of specific parts of their human body. The airman who escaped was George Bush Sr. Yeah, one of our former presidents almost got ate by cannibal Japanese soldiers. In the Second Punic War, the Roman legions used to counter the Carthaginian war elephants by dousing pigs in oil or tar, then setting them alight. The pigs would begin to race in a panic in every which way. These pigs would be screaming in agony from being cooked alive, and these screams combined with the flames burning on several dozen swine would upset the elephants and cause them to either run amok or turn to flee and trample their own troops in the process. This is where the term war pigs comes from. Coin. Locker. Babies. In Japan, coin operated lockers are widely used. People who don't want their babies will shove the infant into one of these lockers, lock it, and leave. While some are found alive and kicking, most are found dead. There were 191 babies killed by this method in just 10 years. There's even a song about a mother about to shove her baby in a locker, it's just called Coin Locker Baby. The Jimpy Tree which is native to Australia. Similar to a stinging nettle, the Jimpy tree is covered in millions of tiny silicon needles each containing a potent toxin which causes excruciating pain that never goes away. There was one story about a soldier who used a leaf from the Jimpy as makeshift toilet paper whilst training in the outback. Rather than face a lifetime of agonizing pain, he shot himself in the head with his revolver. The youngest person to give birth was 5 years old. If you put a frog in a pan of water then turn the heat up the frog will sit there and boil a love without attempting to escape. There's a very high chance you have eaten someone else's skin hair nail sweat and excretions. Few people know it, but Wes Craven got the idea for a nightmare on Elm Street from a real story published in the LA Times of a boy who suffered terrible nightmares and actually ended up dying in the middle of one. As Craven said, he told his parents he was afraid that if he slept, the thing chasing him would get him, so he tried to stay awake for days at a time. When he finally fell asleep, his parents thought this crisis was over. Then they heard screams in the middle of the night. By the time they got to him, he was dead. He died in the middle of a nightmare. Thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe. For more videos.